There is a 10-year rule some RV parks and campgrounds have, and not knowing what this 10-year rule is or how to get around it could mean getting turned away when you arrive at your campsite. Stay tuned. We'll tell you what this rule is and how we have always gotten around it. We are Charity, Ben, Dakota, and Trinity. We decided we didn't want to wait for a life of adventure. So in 2017, we bought our first RV and set off to live a life of travel in the USA. We've visited over 38 states in three years and have many more to go. Follow along to learn all the best places to see, RV and travel tips, and much more. Welcome back. We named our channel Grateful Glamper because we are grateful to live this life and grateful to be able to travel in our RV. One thing we like to do is think of something that we're thankful for each and every day. So we invite you to do that too and maybe drop it in the comments below. Let us know what it is you're grateful for today. Before we jump into the meat of today's video, we want to give a quick thank to all of you that are supporting us on Patreon. Your support means so much and we love being able to connect with you more on the Patreon platform. So I'll drop a link below if you're interested in becoming a Grateful Glamper Insider and connecting with us on a little bit of a deeper level, we invite you to check out what it means to be an insider. Let's face it, RVs are expensive. And if you've watched our channel for any length of time, you know we are not advocates of buying a brand new RV due to the depreciation. Unless you're at a place in life where maybe the cost is less than half your take home pay, but that's another video for another day. What we wanna talk about today is something called the 10 year rule, which people think because you're buying a used RV, you're gonna get turned away at RV parks due to this 10 year rule. What is the 10 year rule? Well, the 10 year rule is a rule that some RV parks have saying that to stay there, your RV needs to be 10 years old or newer. Now, this rule is more common in some states like Arizona and Florida, where many RVers head to spend the colder months and stay throughout the winter. And you sometimes find this rule at higher end type RV resorts in some of these areas too. So why this silly rule about RV age? Well, the goal for most campground or RV park owners is to keep RVs away that are not well maintained. Let's think about it from the perspective of the campground owner. If you're an owner of a campground, the last thing that you want is a motorized RV leaking oil all over your campsite or a black tank in an RV that has some sort of sewage leak or something that's just not well maintained. And then it creates a safety hazard for your guests or even for you as the owner that you have to clean up once that that RV is gone. So a lot of times campground owners want to make sure that they're keeping away RVs that are not well maintained. Some of these campgrounds will institute the 10 year rule. So how are you supposed to know if the campground actually has this rule before that you get there? Well, a lot of them will put it on their website, but it's always a good idea to ask when you're picking up the phone and making that reservation if this particular campground has what is known in the RV world as the 10 year rule. So now before you start getting all worried and thinking that great, we can't camp at campgrounds unless our RV is less than 10 years old. So let's talk about how to get around it and how we've never had problems getting into campgrounds, even the ones that have had this 10 year rule. But before we get into that, I want you to just take a look at our RV behind me and we'll show you some more footage here in just a second. But how old do you think our RV is? Just leave a guess in the comments. Now, this is always super fun because when we're at campgrounds and we meet people as we're you know walking and talking and talking about RVs and who's got what and what's your rig, people never think that our RV is as old as it really is. So hopefully you've left your guess in the comments below because I'm about to do a spoiler alert and tell you how old our RV is. This right behind me is a 2004 Fleetwood Discovery. Our RV is 17 years old. When we purchased our RV, we purchased it back in 2018. So I'll just let you do the math, but needless to say, it was more than 10 years old when we purchased it. In our whole time of RV ownership, we have always owned rigs that are older than 10 years, yet we've never been turned away at a campsite once. So how is it that we've gotten around this rule, you might ask? Well, it's pretty simple. You just need to make a phone call or shoot an email to the campground management. 
let them know that your RV is well maintained and offer to send them a current photograph of your RV. Now, this is important because don't send them a picture of your RV from five years ago when it looked all prim and proper and now it's damaged or dilapidated because they're not gonna be too happy when you pull up with an RV that looks completely different than the picture that you sent them. But send them a current photo, let them know, hey, look, we maintain our RV very, very well. It's in great condition and we would love to be able to stay at your campground. We've only ever had to do this once at an RV park that had the 10 year rule. They welcomed us with open arms and we had a great stay and enjoyed our visit. Another thing to note and think about is that some RV models haven't changed their exterior appearance in more than a decade. So think about this, a 1999 Airstream looks pretty much like the newer 2020 versions do on the outside. In fact, there's really not a lot of way to tell from just looking at the outside as long as it's been properly maintained. So there are some RVs that you can't even tell really what year there is or how old that they are just from the exterior appearance alone. So what do you think of the 10 year rule? Do you think it's stupid and silly or do you think maybe it's a good idea? You'll have to let us know in the comments below what your thoughts are. Also, let us know if you've ever run into this or if you've actually been turned away at a campground due to having an older RV. We'd really love to know your thoughts and your experiences when having to deal with this particular rule. We want to thank Progressive for sponsoring today's video. One of the things we love about Progressive RV insurance is that they have discounts that are awesome for the original owner of the RV. They've got extra things like roof specific coverage, roadside assistance, coverage for your pets if they were injured in an accident. We really love all of the things that they offer for RV insurance as well as great rates. Insurance is one of those things you should really shop on a yearly basis anyway. So if you haven't compared rates in a while, use the link below, get a free quote from Progressive and make sure that you're getting the best deal for the best coverage when it comes to your RV. If you got anything valuable out of this video, please hit that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you tap the bell to get a notification every time that a new video goes live and give us that thumbs up if you liked the video as well. Is like, did you hear me give the done? No, I did okay. not hear you give the done. <laughs> okay, wait till I give the done. Okay. <sighs> It's a softer light, I would say. I, you're the one that's seeing it from that perspective. I can see it. <laughs> see your elbow. Okay, there. That's better. So how are you supposed to know if... Yeah, we're recording. If you would like to see more videos with RV tips and tricks, you can check those out right over here. And if you would like to see more videos about fun places to travel and maybe just where you might want to book that next campsite, you can check those out right over here. Thanks so much for watching, and if we don't see you on the road, we'll see you in the next video.